Framer just recently launched plugins, and our SEO tool Semflow is one of the first plugins available inside the Framer marketplace. This video is going to be useful for you whether you're just trying to optimize your own portfolio to get new clients or you're offering SEO as a service to multiple clients. So let's get into it. Okay, so you can find the Semflow plugin inside the Framer marketplace, or when you have Framer open, you can come up here and click on the plugins icon and then just search for Semflow. So once I click this, it's going to pull this up. Now you are required to have an account, so it will prompt you to create an account with the username and a password. And then once you've created that account and started your trial, it's going to verify your sitemap and your domain just to make sure that it's finding the right site. And then you click launch. Now what Semflow is going to do is it's crawling all the different pages of your site and taking into account all of the different ranking factors that search engines use to determine where to rank a website. Once it's calculated all of those, it's going to give you a score right over here on the left side. So right now we're at a 39%, okay? So a few things that you need to know your score is over here. This is showing your domain. Anytime you have made updates and you would like to recrawl your site, you can click the rerun audit button right here. And then over on the right side, you've got all of your pages, both static and dynamic. Now, if your site has a lot of pages, you can use the search bar here to get to those more quickly, okay? So each page has an icon that indicates its overall SEO health. So right now you can see we're not doing too great. So the first one we're going to cover is the homepage. Let's click on the homepage and this is going to open a tab. And on the left, we're going to have all of the different SEO tasks or optimization tasks that need to be done in order to optimize this homepage. So these are all in a tab component. So as you click them over on the right side, it's gonna show you more details about what needs to be done, okay? So the first one, focus keyword is not set. This is possibly the most important part of optimizing web pages is having a specific focus keyword that you have chosen based on how good of a keyword it is, which we'll show you in a second. And then you're going to implement that keyword throughout the page, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to search and find a good keyword. So this website is, you can see back here, a bookkeeping website. So let's just put in bookkeeping services. And we're going to see how many people search that keyword every month, okay? So it's got great search volume, over 8,000 searches per month. And the difficulty is about medium. It's 47. And these two factors are going to determine the rankability or the likelihood that we can rank this page on the search engines. Okay. So this isn't a terrible keyword. I do love that it has really high search volume, but I think we want to get a little more specific to find one that's a little bit more rankable. Okay. So we're going to elaborate on this. Let's do outsourced bookkeeping services. We're going to click save. All right, so the keyword is definitely better. It's still got 1,300 searches per month, which is definitely less, but the difficulty is also much less and it's way more rankable. So this is what you're going to have to do as you perform your own keyword research here is you might have to sacrifice on the search volume in order to find one that's lower difficulty, okay? So this is a great keyword. It has been saved to this specific page and now all of these other tasks are going to help us implement this focus keyword. So we're going to head to this next task. The page title is set. You can see that the current page title is just the name of the company. So not a good page title. Okay. If you're not sure what a page title is, it shows an example down here. This is what people see in the search results. So this doesn't tell people what Clerky is, what it does, or why they should click this link. And you'll also notice the one down below, the page title is also missing the focus keyword. So to resolve both of these issues, we're going to use our generate using AI feature here. So we're going to click generate, and this is going to create a new title based on what the page is about using that focus keyword. And it's going to be optimized using chat GPT. Now, what you'll notice is this is a box with a recommended character length. And so you might have to hit generate just a few times in order to find one that's the proper length. And what we're going to do is we're going to click copy. Now we can come over here to the home page, click the settings into the page title, and we can go ahead and paste that in. So we've clicked save and we're going to come up here and we're going to republish those updates. So Semflow can notice the changes that we made. Okay. So we're going to come back 
to SEMflow, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna click on our home tab and you'll see that the page title is still set as just clerky, right? And then the page title is still missing the focus keyword. So we can come up here to the top and this is our quick audit button. So we're gonna click this to refresh and it is now taken to account our new page title and it has found that our page title does contain our focus keyword. And then if we come back here, it is telling us that we have increased by one point, okay? So you can see how this process works. We're gonna go page by page, implementing focus keywords, making sure all of our elements are in place, and over time we're going to be able to see our SEO score increase, right? Okay, so a few more things. Our page title is missing an H1 tag. So it's telling us how to fix this. You just need to make sure that the main header is set as an H1, which I thought that it was. Let's go ahead and close this out. And this is our main header, and it actually is set to an H2. So if we come up here, set it to an H1, and let's go ahead and check a few more things before we republish. So the H1 missing focus keyword, I think we do have the keyword in that already. And then we don't have any other issues with our H2 through H6. And our meta description is set, okay? So the meta description is what shows up below the page title. This one isn't terrible. It says, Clerky is a bookkeeping service company. Call us today. But the other error is we don't have our focus keyword in this meta description. So let's go ahead and generate a new one. And this one looks pretty good to me. And it also has our focus keyword in here. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's come over to our page settings. We're going to paste in this new meta description. Let's click save. And now we're gonna go ahead and republish. So now that that is republished, let's come up here back to SEMflow. And we will look inside of our home tab and let's run a quick re-audit. And now our H1 is set. Our H1 contains the keyword, the meta description is set, and the meta description contains the focus keyword. So we've got everything done on here that we need to to perfectly optimize our home page. Now, a few additional things that you need to see here, okay? So up here in the top corner, you have the ability to hide a page from your SEO score. So if you have certain pages that are not relevant to the ranking of your site, whether that's a 404 page or a privacy policy page, you can remove those from your audit and that is also going to affect your score right here. So you can see by removing the home page, we've dropped six points, okay? So let's come back here and make sure that this home page is still found. The other thing you're going to be able to do is see your Google PageSpeed Insights through this integration. So you can click Activate, and this is going to show you both your mobile and desktop score. And then once that loads, you're also going to be able to see a full report on how you can improve those scores. All right, so once this loads, it's going to show us our scores. We've got a 59 out of 100 on our mobile page speed and a 99 out of 100. And again, if you want a full report of all of the errors that your page might have, you can just click see full report right here. All right, so coming back here to our main page, um, you see that everything is looking good, right? We've optimized our homepage. Um, there are just a few more really cool features that I want to point out to you. First is this notification right here saying your site needs backlinks. Now, this on-page optimization that we're doing, it's very, very important, but it's not everything that's required to rank on Google. You're also going to want what are called backlinks. If you're unfamiliar with what a backlink is, this basically means that other high authority, reputable websites are linking back to your site. So this can be done through guest posting or different types of PR. It's something that you can definitely do on your own, but you can also outsource this and you can even outsource this to our internal SEMflow team. So this right here is going to tell you the estimated number of backlinks that you're going to need in order to rank for your specific keywords. So based on the keyword that you input on your homepage, this is going to give you an estimate and you can click this link right here to outsource those backlinks. Okay, so with all that said, let's go back here and let's check out your SEMflow dashboard. So your SEMflow dashboard is going to keep track of all of your different websites and SEMflow doesn't just work for Framer, it also works for Webflow. And so even if you have sites on both platforms, you're going to be able to see them all right here, including which platform they were built on. It's going to show your overall score. It's going to show you the last time that the site was crawled. And if you want even more detailed reporting on what's going on inside every individual site, you can just click this eye icon right here 
and it's going to show you a detailed report, including all of the major errors that your site has, any specific warnings based on page. So you can see where you have no focus keywords set and on which pages. You can check page titles, H1s, meta descriptions, low word count, uh, duplicate titles and meta descriptions. All of those things are gonna be shown inside of this report. This is a really great feature, especially if you're offering SEO to clients, because right here, you're going to be able to show the lifetime progress in your SEO score over time, right? So what you can do is as you improve your score, you can rerun your audit, and then it's going to show you your lifetime progress. So you can download this PDF report, you can send it over to a client and you can say, hey, look at this, we originally were at a 39% with 47 errors and now we're up to an 85% we're in the green and we have only two errors left and so this is a really great way to track your progress and also if you want to outsource some of these things you have a very specific outline of everything that needs to be fixed so I'm super excited to finally have SEMflow inside the Framer Marketplace. We're working on new features every single day to make the tool better, more useful for you. So if you have questions about the tool, comment them down below. Otherwise, you can try SEMflow completely free for seven days if you just go to SEMflow.com. I can't wait for you to try it out, and I can't wait to share the new updates and improvements that we have coming very soon.